replacing Jaquaski Tart. This one's interesting to me. I mean, the Niners had a plan at every position this offseason except strong safety. I don't get this one. I mean, they knew that there was something wrong with Tart. They gave him an $800,000 contract. He couldn't pass a physical. You knew something was really wrong there. Serious injury that ended Patrick Willis's career. And all the backup options were other guys on minimum contracts or third day three picks. So it's like they don't have a plan here. The current starter is Tavon Wilson. And again, like, I don't know how long he'll last. He's going to get isolated. He's never been a successful starter in his career. He's been around. Uh, it seems to me that, I don't know, what do you think the Niners should, what, what's the best option here at strong safety? So Hufanga got a great reaction from a lot of fans, but I would like to sober and temper that a little bit. He got eaten alive by the Chiefs' first string offense. It yeah. was not pretty. Uh, if you recall what I said on him coming out of college, that he had a nose for the football, that he was around the football. But if there's one thing that I would I, I don't like about him, it's the angles he takes to the ball. And on the on the first play, he sees Tyreek Hill, where they go out, run, run Tyreek Hill around the edge. What does he do? He takes a straight line at Tyreek Hill. Okay, I guess... You know, this is this is where being a catcher in baseball is great. You know the scouting report on everyone. And it's why Richard Sherman, he had game speed. He may he may not run a 4-3-4-4, something like that, but mentally he runs a 4-2 because he knows what's coming. And he the first thing Sherman would have done is shift the hips and back up to the to the outside. Whereas Hufanga just was like, kill him, and went right at him and it looked great. And then oh no, he got around him. Uh if the second tackler doesn't come and clean that up. Hill's gone. So that's Hufanga. He has a great instinct for where the ball will be, but he's going to have to learn to take better routes to the ball. He does that, then suddenly his game speed goes up as well, and his slowness would not concern me that much. But yeah, it was a jet sweep, and he just completely got beaten to the outside, but it's because of the angle he took. He ran into the backfield to track down Tyreek Hill from behind. That's not usually where you want to be with Tyreek Hill. That's the thing. I don't know that he's fast enough and athletic enough to be a high level starter. I think he could be a good backup, a good special teamer. But I, the way I look at this, I think Haha Clinton Dix is really, really important. I don't oh, know. Yeah, he's the clear cut. I think it's got to be him. Yeah, yes. I don't know about Hafeng. Like Hafeng is a good, a good story. But we really got to see what he can do against first stringers, as you said, because that's and where his lack of athleticism is going to. Yeah, we did. we did. He misread a jet sweep. And yeah. then uh, the, guess what the Chiefs did? Andy Reid, he's so smart. He has such finesse for the game. It's, it's, it's. Go Just a second, I gotta, I got I to plug in my laptop real quick. Hold on. Let's go. Tea break. Almost. Uh... I wonder how many Oakland A's fans we have here. Boom, we're good. Sorry about that. All right, cool. All right. I talked Oakland A's baseball for like five seconds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, going back. So Hufanga, to back up what you were saying, Hufanga, uh, he demonstrates what you said because Andy Reid and that finesse that he has for this game, it's a pleasure to watch when he's not playing the Niners, uh, but he called up another play. He was like, hmm, bad angle from the safety. All right, yeah. fine. Let's do a little vertical with him. Sends Tyreek Hill right after him. And the only way he can slow him down is to pull on him. Yeah. Pass interference. Yeah. So Hufanga to the first team, this is what he brought. Bad jet sweep, misread, missed tackle. And then pass interference, kept the drive alive, and we know what happened. So, absolutely, uh, he's not the guy yet. But against the second, third string guys, then you got to see when it's not Tyreek Hill out there, when there's not the speed, and when there's not the advanced play calling, he punished people, and that's what he should do. This guy says, "Oh, Gags, is Gags is your cousin." Yo, I went to college with Gags' son. I went to really? UCLA. And there was Look at us know where, what to call him. I love it. I don't know his name, but he was in my apartment and we were all playing 2K. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, he was I on played the 2K team. twice as well. Yeah, I, I was on the, he was on the I led the league in home runs, by the way. And I'll never forget, he called, he referred, to his, he referred to his dad as Gags. He'd be like, oh yeah, it's yeah, Gags. Gags. Yeah, it's Gags. The, the base coach, I think, yeah. I think Gags was the third base coach for the A's at the time. Yeah, he was because uh, he took over for Ron Washington when Ron Washington went and got himself a head coaching job with the Rangers. That's right. So yep. Namaste 303, I know your cousin. I know Gags' son. I met him that one time anyway. Tell That's so cool. Up. Love it. Yeah. Also, other person I went to college with, um, this guy was in the other frat. I was in, I think, I was in Sigma Nu. Next door was Phi Psi. He was also on the lacrosse team. Named Scott Harris. 
He was a year older than me. A lot of mutual friends. Um, he's the general manager of the Giants. Wow, awesome. He's general. I mean, Farhan is the VP, but right under. Well, you went to school for Harris. business, right? No, I was just I went to undergrad at UCLA. I was an English major. I don't know what he did. I was met, I met some in people. Business, yeah. who knows? Yeah. I don't yeah, know what he awesome. did, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, I, I actually know. played baseball with Josh Reddick's cousin. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I love Josh Reddick. He said his nephew plays for the Dodgers. So Gags plays for the Dodgers. That's cool. That's cool. That kid must be 30 now. Gags Jr. Gags Jr. must be hella old now. So if he's still playing in minors, good for him.